everyone welcome to my channel hope everyone's really well today i'm making my whippet willow some pajamas some cozy pajamas being a whippet she does get nippy on a night so although she doesn't like wearing clothes it is like trying to bath a cat getting her into something like this but once they're on she'll be nice and cozy and she'll soon get used to them i found some fabric at my local shop in scarborough uh, material moves that's where I learned how to sew um, from Carol and um, I absolutely love it it's just a lovely high quality organic soft jersey <clears throat> and it's covered in bunny wabbits and here it is isn't it gorgeous it's really soft gorgeous it's soft organic um, jersey cotton so this um, is a free download from pointysnoot.com I'll put a link in if anybody does want to to do this um doesn't have to be this is for a whippet but it doesn't have to be it probably fit an ordinary dog you just adapt it to size and there's the waggy tail area and the neck um front legs and then we've got the underbelly and then the back um, legs that are going to go on cut out two sleeves there's four cuffs and then there's the neck and of course they're optional if you didn't want to do these you could just hem this up or you could just put um you know put a snud on just however you want to play it really i'm going to do the lot i want to do all of them for willow and so i'll do a sort of a sew along show you what i'm doing the instructions are quite basic online uh, so hopefully if you are making this this video will help out a little bit. First step, I've got it all laid out. This is wrong side up. <clears throat> this is the tail opening and there's the tummy openings. So what I'm going to do first is hem the tail openings and tummy openings um, about half an inch. So I'm going to do a quarter of an inch first all the way around, folding it in and then another quarter inch to, to make it half an inch. Um, once I've pinned it all nicely, I'll pop it through the sewing machine. All right, so that's all stitched and hemmed. So I've double, double hemmed it so it's nice and tidy. Same on that side and here as well. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the next steps, which is attaching the uh, neck and then moving on to the sleeves and cuffs. OK, just realised that you only cut one neck cuff. I've cut two, but not to worry, you've got one spare. <laughs> um, so normally what you do, you've got your, your neck piece fold it in half and then attach it to the neck here and you do it right sides together so if you imagine that's all stitched when you come and come to fold it the right way you've got your neat line that side that for me would be uh, a bit messy because you would end up with three raw edges on the inside which I don't particularly like so I'm going to do a French seam which means that you sew wrong sides together first with a small thin line of stitching and then you turn it back in on itself for a second line of stitching to create your French seam so to do that I'm going to call this the wrong side there just a little bit of chalk and the wrong side is going to be attached to this wrong side so I'm going to go round and pin it and stitch it once I've pinned it I'll I'll show you what it looks like okay so this is where I'm up to wrong side neck piece 
is attached. I've pinned it, lots and lots of pins. You kind of, when you're putting a piece of straight fabric onto a curve, you've just sort of, it's like a sleeve. You've got to nurse it round just so that you don't get, and imagine it is, it is going to be on a curve. It's the same when you're stitching it, you sort of got to manoeuvre it round that curve and try not to stretch the fabric. So I'm going to go um, just an eighth of an inch through uh, three pieces of fabric and then I'm going to turn it round and do a second line of stitching just to show you how the French seam will look. Just a recap on what I've done. So this is what we class as the right side and it currently looks like we've got a seam here. This is the first line of stitching. So if you remember that was the wrong side with this wrong side. So what we do now is we fold it again to do a second line of stitching and we encase this that gives you your nice neat French seam obviously you don't have to do a French seam you can have raw edges if you want to it's just my preference so I'm going to fold it that way and push this seam to the edge as far as I can I'll press it so it's nice and flat and then do a stitch there uh, probably another quarter of an inch no maybe yeah quarter of an inch across there and then what that'll do is give you that nice neat seam here no raw edges and it will have then encased this seam inside so you won't see that that will be like that Okay, so I've just finished that off. So that's thinner now the right side. You can see that seam's been encased. And we've got a nice tidy um, French seam on, on this side. So it's nice and neat. Nice and neat and tidy. So I'm going to do the, <clears throat> the cuffs and the sleeves next. I'll start on those and show you how I'm going to attach them. You can see it's a little bit faffy, you just got to make sure you get the three. With it being sort of a, a very stretchy jersey, it's almost sticky. <laughs> um, but I'm not in any rush, I'm just going to take my time with it. Keep going, matching, matching those edges together and pinning all the way along. First line of stitching done, turned it back on itself, pinned it, second line to do, and then that's uh, one sleeve done, I'll do the other. There we go, sleeve number one. There's the wrong side, and that's the French seam. And then over on here, obviously it's going to be pressed. So that will be the cuff and this will attach to the body and then these will all come round into a leg like so. So I'm going to do the next one, it'll be exactly the same as this one. I'll come back to you when I've done that and I've got the two ready. Okay, so it's time to attach the sleeves. 
So I'm told that these can be a little bit faffy. Um, as mentioned, because I'm doing French seams, I'm going to turn this the wrong way, put them wrong way, uh, wrong sides together for the first line of stitching, and then pull it in on itself for the French seam. <clears throat> I'll pin it all up first and then show you. Okay, <laughs> let's have a quick chat about these sleeves. It does say on the instructions, which are very basic, to be honest, um, that they're a little bit tricky. That's a bit of an underestimation. Well, I, I don't know if it's because this is a very soft, stretchy jersey. It might be better with a fleece, um, but it's very faffy. So I've already, I've done one leg. I'm just, I'll show you that and then I'll show you why it's so faffy. <laughs> if you keep seeing me in different clothes, by the way, it's because I don't have the luxury of time to just do this all day, unfortunately. I'd love to. So here is leg number one. Got some lovely sunshine streaming in. So when you first um, go to attach the sleeve part, it will definitely look like it doesn't fit. There's a lot of jiggery pokery, lots and lots of pins. Um, I'll show, I will show you what I did when I, I go on to the next, the next one. I would imagine that it would be easier if it wasn't a French seam because you've only got one line of stitching and then you've got your raw, raw edges that you either overlock or um, if it's not free you just leave them raw. But because I wanted to challenge myself and have a nice neat French seam I've probably made it really difficult for myself. Um, but there's something to note when you're looking at your sleeves. Just pull this one. They are different, they're not symmetrical. So you'll find that one side is quite a deep curve and one isn't. And it's not 100% clear on the drawings, um, on the instructions, which goes where, but I did kind of work it out. Um, so I'll show you when I lay all this out where it goes, which one goes, which one goes where. So there's the neck. That's the first leg that I've done. Obviously it's got to be all joined together. And then we've got the bum bum there, tummy opening. And here you can just see by the shape of that, that when you look at your sleeve, you think, well, how's that fit in there? If you, if you try and pin it edge to edge, starting at one edge and going round, it won't fit. It won't fit at all. So you have to fit it in the middle and at the ends and then ease all of it in with pins. A bit like when you, you do normal sleeves, I suppose. And so the curve bit on here, you'll see that this this narrow curve there goes at the bottom and the deeper curve goes at the top. So that's important to remember. So I'm going to start pinning it and show you how I've done that. Started off pins that end to the corner edge. Remember I'm doing French seams so it's wrong sides together first so I'm going to pin it all wrong sides together that way and then a pin at that edge and then I'm just going to sort of spread it out and manoeuvre a centre point about there and pin it loads and loads of pins when you're doing this and it is faffy and this material is quite um, slippy as well 
So then the same again, I will do a centre point on that side, a centre point on that side, and then gradually just lots and lots of pins until I've eased it all together. And remember, it's going on a curve. So when you're sort of easing it, you're, you're doing that, you're manipulating it like that. Can you see? Okay, I'll crack on. Right, pinned. <laughs> Note all the uh, the amount of pins that I've got in here. So you really do have to ease everything in from from the center and the edges, and then it takes a quite a lot of faffing around and moving them and readjusting them until eventually you get you know something like so that I'm going to do again I'm wrong sides together for a French seam so I'm going to do an eighth of an inch my usual seam um, and I'll show you when it's finished back cuffs now I've got two cuffs to do folded it in half and pinned it to the back like that so again remembering I'm French seaming so it will look odd that I'm classing as the wrong side to the wrong side next up we're gonna form the back legs so these uh, two ends here are going to be stitched together and make a leg like that and again with me I know I keep saying it but I'm stitching them if you're doing it the other way you know you'll just do it how you normally do I'm stitching wrong sides together and then pull it the other way and do my French seam as usual. legs <laughs> we have back legs just trim that right 
There's my French seam. Nice, neat, tidy. And there is one leg. I've actually done them both, so we have two legs. Starting to look very cute. There you go. We are getting there, aren't we? There. Okay, next step. I'm going to sew this little bit under the belly, just across there. And then we're sewing up the neck part down to here on the chest. So that's the next bit. I tried to lay it out best I can just to show you where I'm up to. So we've got the neck all done and sewn up. It's a little bit offline there, but not to worry. Both the legs, back legs are done. So what's left to do are the front legs. So this line here is going to join with this line here to close up the legs and the body belly bit there. Ready for the grand finale. All pinned, ready to sew and then it's done. Yay! We have PJs people. <laughs> Not bad eh? Not bad. I like them. Just hope Willow does. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And um, I'll be back with another project shortly. Thank you so much. Bye. Hello. Hello. You've been a good girl. You don't like it, do you? Hmm? <laughs> well, I think you look cute.